Hello beautiful Taurus friends. I'm so glad you're with me. This is your general reading. Right now we have the White Rose of Hope. It really speaks to the fact that you are building something right now. It's the number three. You're in the process of creation and something for which you have great hope. You are choosing a path. Everything is possible at this time. It's just important that you dedicate yourself. You make a decision about a dream. You work on your project and you really, really choose to go down the path, staying very positive at all times. We do have resurrection here. Reconsider a project or recall a person from the past to resurrect an idea. So something that you've done in the past may be coming to a life right now in terms of resurfacing, something that you may uh, begin again, something of which you may have given up in the past. The answers you need are coming. Full Moon and Gemini have got that for also for Aries. The energy of your ancestors and angels is Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. So Taurus, you do have the planet of Uranus in your sign right now. And it has been causing a lot of change, a lot of upheaval, a sense of instability. But what we're seeing here with this beautiful Spirit Fox it's really saying that changes are coming. They are inevitable. So embrace those changes and go forward. You're foxy enough, my friends, to solve whatever problems are in the way. When we look at the energy of the Shaman's Dream Oracle, we see stars in the sky of limitless possibility. That's so exciting. You have a vanishing mirror this is really beautiful energy because it's allowing your ego to just get out of the way. Oftentimes we think, well, I can't do that or I will do that or I won't do that simply because of our ego. We have walls up and what we're seeing right now is Spirit is recommending that you absolutely shatter those walls. Don't have any limitations. Don't tell yourself any stories. Don't write checks emotionally your body can't cash. Don't invest in anything that doesn't push you forward. Beginner's mind, first breath. So we're seeing a lot, of, a lot of new beginnings for you coming in August. Oftentimes, astrologically, when um, the energy is very stressful, and it is for a lot of you, Taurus, with the Uranus squaring, off to Saturn and Aquarius right now. So we're seeing a time when you are urged to change and build a new stability within the realm of your life as it exists, which feels chaotic to a lot of you. So we're going to look at all of the beautiful tarot cards. For those of you who are in a relationship, you have fire in your belly. It does look as though there is a relationship that has ended with the death card. You're trying to transform and rebirth this relationship. It does look like you might have some communication with the person for whom you're interested. Uh, the death card is Scorpio energy. The nine of wands is Sagittarius energy. So it really speaks to the fact that you are not going to give up, period, the end, Taurus. Scorpio is your seventh house of partnership. So it does look like for those of you who are not in partnership, it does look like you may try to approach somebody from the past or someone may return from the past. For others of you, you just really want to rebirth and have a significant relationship, which looks like it's coming to fruition. As I, as I look at the cards, it looks as though you are going to get your wish granted. The Three of Cups energy, in terms of your money making, in terms of your wealth and your abundance, what we see here, what we see, Taurus, is the Three of Cups. Cancerian energy, a friend might be the harbinger or the impetus for someone that would introduce you uh, for a new job, for a new source of income. Friends right now are very financially supportive for you, but they're also emotionally supportive. It looks as though with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, we are looking at a potential engagement for many of you. The Three of Cups is usually the party, the bridesmaids. The Ace of Pentacles is typically the ring. This is what you want right now, and it does look like a relationship is returning and being reborn 
or a new relationship is changing dramatically from dating into commitment. Gorgeous, really beautiful. Again, that ace of coins is a ring typically, and that is coming from your partner and from their um, energetic sources materially. We look at your local neighborhood, the things day to day that you deal with, and you're in very good shape. There you are in your reading, Taurus, the energy in your neighborhood looks very sound. It looks very, uh, very much like you enjoy yourself. When it comes to traveling long distance and going to university or going back to school right now, I'm getting the Four of Cups. It just doesn't look like the timing is right uh, to start a new venture. For those of you who are going back to school, I think that you have worries. You know, you should never stop or start something just because of a tarot reading. What we're here to do is to really help guide you in making your decisions that are going to flow very well for you. So if you are looking at university right now, what I'm getting or higher levels of education or traveling abroad, you may find that there is a little bit of a delay. Four of Cups is usually the rainy day is temporary and that's what this umbrella means. But you're very solid right now. Your local environment is where you're going to find your abundance, your wealth, everything good that you really desire right now is right in your neighborhood. Mr. Rogers could knock on your door at any moment. For those of you who do not, do not know who Mr. Rogers is, that was a neighborhood uh, person on television. He always talked about your neighborhood and you need to like scratch that piece out of here. So when we edit, okay. When we look at your fourth house, and your 10th house of career, what we see is that you are feeling very much like you want to work at home, that you want your stability to be there, you want to earn your money at home. Six of coins really speaks to equal give and take with an employer. What we see right now, seven of swords, is that you feel it, that your employer is really taking more than they're due. They're extracting a, a wage or giving you a wage that is not fair that does not seem right and you are very much focused on increasing your abundance this month the seven of swords looks like that energy will fall by the wayside but we'll find out when we do the extended so when we look at this beautiful beautiful knight of cups energy romantically you have passion for someone and they have passion for you we are seeing that a friend and a lover may become absolutely an engaged partnership thus having a transformation in your seventh house of romance uh, but committed relationship for those of you who are looking at your health it looks as though many of you are throwing caution to the winds it looks like you're being more active you're really studying you're getting messages you know online and elsewhere on what you can do to improve your health and when we look at what is hidden you really feel trapped right now I feel as though you've it's a prison of your own making the seven of wands is where you're defending yourself it really says that you have fire in your belly to defend yourself and when we look at sevens you know you're, you're going to defend yourself against an employer that seems to be very unfair for employers that are uh, are jobs and career elements in your life that have really taken more than they've given and you're over that you are creating something brand new when we look at the difficult relationship in your life i always do one difficult relationship spread for all of my um basically abundance and life path readings we see the eight of swords eight of swords is feeling stuck you know we see the eight of wands here you're taking off but there is a relationship in which you just feel like you can't get out of your own way the king of pentacles here you are taurus once again in your reading it, you know, the King of Pentacles is all about abundance and creating stability and transformation. And when we get the death card, we have transformation. So whatever's going on in your personal life, your love life, your committed life, it looks as though you want an improvement. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. You're not satisfied with the status quo. You're going to change it. The dream catcher says that you may wake up one day with the realization that you want to reinvest in an old relationship in the fact that you really you want what you want. It looks as though some of you have been dealing with 
this very hidden inner strength, the shadow cat. When we look at the shadow cat, the shadow cat's actually quite big. But we're seeing that you have a lot of inner strength that sometimes you simply don't call forth, but you are now. The Four of Cups is repeating itself, as is the, now we have the Five of Cups. You are totally dissatisfied in a relationship the way it's been going. You are going to take matters into your own hands, Taurus. It looks as though for most of you, this beautiful engagement is coming, and I do not think you see it. So the White Rose of Hope is well positioned in the reading. This is really beautiful for you. It is a reading that we're going to clarify in the extended, and the extended will be in a link here at the end of the video. But this reading for you speaks so strongly to the fact that you are about to absolutely break out of prison. You are moving forward in a very powerful way into transforming your intimate life into manifesting this beautiful possible engagement or commitment. It really speaks also to the fact that you are enjoying abundance and that investments are also paying off. If you are looking to buy a home, if you're looking to, uh, at the growth of your investments, we see a lot of growth at this time. You're making very good decisions in terms of money, and a partner's money also is coming into play as being abundant and creating and helping create this brand new life that you're bringing about. I see you in a period of having felt stagnant and boom, you are out of stagnancy. You are on the move, fire in your belly, engagement in, in either financial, very prosperous financial dealings and or and both could be possibly both becoming quite engaged, literally and figuratively. So that is your overall Life Path and Abundance reading for August. I am going to take this to the extended and pull more messages and see what we have for you, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, we are back to your extended at this time. We're going to take a look and see. We're going to use a Crow's Tarot, beautiful tarot deck. We're going to clarify the cards for you. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why do you have fire in your belly? What are you worked up about in terms of partnership, who you are, your own identity? The Four of Cups. We have had the Four of Cups, Four of Cups, Four of Cups. And we have the Four of Cups. So you are tired of stagnancy. Four of Cups is all about feeling dissatisfied by what you have. And it's about the willingness to take action in the next step. The Five of Cups looks as though you're going to go through an, a period of time of assessment. And that is what you're doing right now. You're thinking about what you actually want, what you're going to go after, and why you're going to go after it. Look at this energy, King of Wands energy. You are bursting forth in this Leo month with a lot of great energy. Leo energy is fiery, it's profound. You can't deny the lion. You can't deny the lion and the ability to put that crown on your head. The infinity symbol is right here with you with this King of Wands energy. You want a forever relationship that you can count on. You want someone in your life with whom you can enjoy a family. You have a lot of pride. You want to feel this sort of dignity that you feel when you're in a committed relationship, my friends. So you are all about a new beginning. You have clarity. You've been checking out your lover online. The Eight of Coins, you're ready to invest. You really know what to do. The Eight of Coins is all about mastery, Taurus. You have the mastery to manifest whatever you want this month. So what do we have? Why do we have the death card for your partnership? What is being born, rebirthed? What is ending? Let's take a look and see what this energy is because it does look like this is the literally the engagement set. The Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups is an engagement ring. 
So why do we have the death card in your seventh house of committed partnership? It is a transformational card. It could be the death of being single and the beginning and the rebirth of a marriage. So for those of you who are married, you're going through a rebirthing process, which is quite beautiful. You may actually, someone out there is going to have like repeat their vows. I feel as though there's going to be a ceremony for some of you. The sun card, look at that. If that isn't the best card after the death card, that's all about birth. That's all about giving birth and giving birth to love. The sun card is Leo energy. It's where we have our passionate uh, romantic interludes that become significant relationships later. So it does look like your person has fire in their belly for you. They are reciprocating. The tower moment says that this comes as a surprise to you. You know, look at this energy over here. You thought this was over. You weren't quite sure what to do, but you hung in there with that beautiful Taurus energy and your person is saying, surprise, surprise, I'm back, the lover's card. So whatever has happened, whether this person has ever left physically or just you felt like you weren't as close to them, you are in this beautiful lover's energy, a choice is being made. The high priestess says that you you think that your person is very much uh, with you on making a decision to want to marry. Your intuition is very good right now. Listen to it in terms of your financial dealings. The Page of Cups, you are going to make an offer. The Ace of Cups, you are going to profess your love. Beautiful energy once again. If you are in a new um, money cycle, it also indicates great happiness with money coming in joy happiness delight it couldn't be better the ace of pentacles let's see why we have the ace of pentacles that's the engagement ring and we have the nine of pentacles reversed <laughs> no longer single quite literally no longer single for those of you who um, have been single for a long time. You are finding your person. What a beautiful love story within your reading. Taurus, Taurus, gorgeous energy. All right, single days are over for your person. Yes, the death of singlehood is what this card actually means. The death of singlehood. I always like to remind people that the death card is quite beautiful. It can be likened to deciding to kill your kitchen, <laughs> knock down the walls, and make a new kitchen. You know, it really is what you're clearing out that which no longer serves you and you're rebirthing. It's it's a phoenix rising from the ashes, quite literally. So if you have been in separation, you look like you're getting back together. If you're together, you're moving to the next level. How gorgeous. The King of Pentacles energy, you're very happy in your local environment. Ace of Swords, you know what the truth is, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You're really ready. You're on that edge of maybe signing a contract. Page of Wands, an offer is made. For some of you, you may be buying a new home. And we see that you would be able to, um, to do that successfully. King of Cups energy, you are all about speaking your truth, speaking your love, showing your caring, that Scorpio energy, especially to your significant other. So what we see here in terms of the Four of Cups in the Ninth House, we're looking at the Two of Coins. So there is something in terms of if you want to go back to school, if you want to travel long distance, there's this feeling that you might have to put it off for now or you have to juggle uh, to be able to reach that goal. We have the devil energy reversed. Beautiful. I love that as a reversal. It's a fantastic reversal for you because it really speaks to the fact that whatever's gone on, uh, whatever has kept you in a state of just feeling like you didn't know what the answer is, we now have answers. You have clarity. The three of coins, a collaboration with someone. For those of you who are looking to publish something, 
Um, we also see the ability to collaborate with another writer, another person on something creative. For those of you who are working possibly with an architect or building a new home, it looks like it goes quite well for you. It looks as though there's been a bit of a rainy season here, so there might have been delays. The Six of Pentacles, you are determined to be paid fairly. What is this about for our beautiful Taurus friends? The Hierophant, well, you want your due. You know, what I'm seeing here is that you are looking for a company that's going to pay good benefits, that's going to possibly offer a pension, but you want a basically a job with a very reliable, substantial company, Hierophant, a country, substantial, um, like a name brand, like a Fortune 500 company. Uh, so when we think of Fortune 500 companies, we think of things like things that you've heard of, Procter & Gamble, you know, Crest Toothpaste, United Airlines, whatever. But what we're seeing here is that you really are definitely going to get out of this energy of letting somebody steal your talents for nothing. The moon card says you are going to keep this a secret as you look for a new job, as you look for new ways to increase your abundance in the workplace. We do have the four of wands instability with this employer that you that has not treated you well. You know, you're sort of breaking up with them is what I'm seeing. Queen of Wands, you are igniting. You are absolutely in your power in business and finance and taking action. You are going to be able to vanquish this negativity. There is a Queen of Wands. There is your business person, the queen of all the solutions, and you have that energy now. Many of you will be getting an absolutely new job. The hanged man is coming in reverse. Whatever you were waiting for in your career is now manifesting. How glorious is that? That's quite beautiful for you. So Taurus, that is really, that's a really big relief when I'm looking at this. Very, very big relief. So let's see what we have here for this beautiful Knight of Cups energy. You're feeling romantic, Lance Romance. All right, Lance Romance is taking off his pants because we now have the Nine of Wands. You have fire in your belly for your person. Your person's very passionate. Whatever you're doing, you're both on the same page because again, fire in your belly here for this romantic relationship your person wow they want to make love all night long i can hear it in the radio i can hear that that music playing in the background what else about this romantic relationship do you want to express the queen of swords energy just says that you're very very particular you're very you're going to articulate to your person how much this means to them or to you excuse me how much they mean to you and we get you being in this very libra very logical energy about pursuing what you want we get the six of wands we get you're not quite at that level you do not yet know that they're going to offer a ring other than the fact that i'm telling you your secret the six of wands is an engagement in the upright right now since you don't know about it it is coming in reverse you simply think that you want the victory and your person already knows that you have the victory your person is in this beautiful energy of the eight of cups so they think they feel as though you have you may leave them but they want this relationship with you this person who possibly left before and came back you know when we get the eight of cups we get this beautiful energy of getting more fulfillment the two of swords the two lovebirds together closing out the world the ace of the eight of cups also because i traveled extensively as a profession the eight of cups to me as a flight attendant for a major carrier was also a travel card the eight of wands definitely air travel so you may be dealing with this for some of you you may be uh, having a relationship with a pilot a flight attendant flight crew member but you have the two of swords the two of you are in a wonderful world all your own after having gone away to have this beautiful passionate um adventure together very much alone very much focused on one another you're rebirthing a relationship of significance 
The Page of Wands is telling us that you are looking into health matters day to day. How can you be more productive? The Five of Wands says that your, ba your days are too busy, that you're trying to balance things out. You're trying to get enough done in a day to satisfy yourself. And right now, I'm seeing the Seven of Cups. You're a little bit lost in your scheduling in your organization. Uh, with Venus and Virgo this month, it should be very helpful to you. You're not quite sure what you're going to pursue or how you will arrange your day, but your focus is on the Ten of Cups, happily ever after marriage. You want time and space in your life to have emotional fulfillment. All work and no play is not what Taurus is going to do. You're breaking out of that energy here with the Seven of Wands. Let's see what we have. Temperance card, finding your balance, finding harmony, finding your joy and your peacefulness, and balancing out your life. Empress energy, Taurus, Taurus. The Empress is Taurus energy. Here you are in your reading. You are absolutely manifesting, and you don't really want anybody to know quite how good it is. We are seeing you with this beautiful energy. You have boxed up all of your worries and you have pitched them absolutely on this beautiful death card. You are not having anything that doesn't suit you anymore. Taurus, this is absolutely a stunning reading. Let's look and see the hidden energy here, your strength. What is the strength card about? We have the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, player energy is vanquished. For some of you, you might have been a player at some time and you know, you see that as a shadow side, something that you no longer want to participate in, something that looks as though it could have caused you some problems in your love life along the way, but haven't we all? Haven't we all, my friends, haven't we all? The Ten of Coins, beautiful, is clarifying the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. That is your absolutely beautiful, manifested, abundant marriage in which you create legacy. So you have the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You are in a brand new phase of your life. You are creating something brand new. Uranus in Taurus has pushed you into making very dramatic changes. You know, Taurus usually likes to do things slowly, but you have hit the accelerator, Taurus. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been a delight and a pleasure. Thanks again. Take care.